Hi folks, this is David Fine from Keys Mods. I'm in the Florida Keys, and guys, I'm gonna talk to you about a really cool little moth right here. Well, it's actually not that little. This is a female Io moth, and I'm gonna show you all about this really cool South Florida bug, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the Io moth. Guys, let's get to this video. All right, Automeris Io, subspecies Lilith, down here in the Florida Keys, we have uh, a, a subspecies of a moth that most people in North America that are interested in butterflies and moths recognize. It's the Io moth. And this is a special one because uh, this is a female. And females in the Keys, and mostly in the rest of the country as well, we don't see the females at lights as often as we do the males. The males are a little bit more active. They're a little bit more ready to show up at a light. Uh, and down here in the Florida Keys, we see tons of the males. We haven't seen a single male tonight, but the female was on the wing. Now she's very fresh. She's probably just emerged. And I'm guessing that she's already copulated. She probably emerged today. And this is probably the first night that she's ever flown. And they've got this really cool rusty color. And before I talk about why this subspecies is special from the Florida Keys, I'm also going to tell you about uh, the defense mechanism of the Io moth. Now, Automeris species all across the, the New World have a really cool defense mechanism. They, they'll, they'll try to camouflage first. And they're going to try and hide from predators. But when they are discovered by a bird or a lizard or something like that. Watch what happens when I disturb her. Whoop, bingo. <laughs> she pops open those, those fore wings and exposes her hind wings. And that is supposed to mimic the eyes of what, a big bird or something like that. And I guess if you're a bird coming to eat a moth and all of a sudden you see a big pair of eyes staring at you, that might be enough to scare you away. Now, they are probably not going to fly away unless they absolutely have to because they don't like wasting energy and they're just not very fast. So if, they, if she starts flying and a mockingbird is chasing her or a blue jay or something like that, she's going to lose because mockingbirds are a lot faster than she is. Um, but guys, one, one cool thing about the Io moth in the Florida Keys, if you want to keep your wings open just a little longer for me, sweetheart, thank you very much. Um, the, the females in the Florida Keys have a very matte colored, rusty forewing. Uh, the females on the mainland have a lot more patterning and uh, they, they've got a lot more lines that are, that are prominent on the forewings and the eye spots on the Keys race or the Keys subspecies are a lot smaller. The, uh, these fa false eyes on the, on the hindwing are a lot smaller than the ones on the mainland. Some of the ones on the mainland, that those false eye spots cover most of the hind wing. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot more of a different um, look to it. Now I'll, I'll let her rest now, so that you guys can. Uh, I can do the rest of the video, and she can just chill. But the the males of this species, hopefully, I'll be able to show you a male by the time the night ends, uh, are also different than the males on the mainland. The guys on the mainland are have more of a yellowish coloration and also have more of a mottled forewing color. And uh, the ones here also have more of a brownish rust color. And they're just kind of bland looking forewing. And it's very different. Some people consider them a different subspecies. Some people call them a different species altogether. Uh, I believe we're calling them Automeris Io Lilith, subspecies Lilith. And that's where we'll go with that. Now, you might ask, well, if, if you're... Dave, if you're poking her and, she, and prodding her and tapping on her, why doesn't she fly away? Well, here's the deal, guys. Uh, an Io moth is a silk moth. It's a Saturnid. And Saturnid moths, the adults, don't have mouths. If I were to, well, it would be kind of rude for me to try and show you her mouth. But her mouth is on her head, which is really tiny, and it's under tucked underneath her body right here. Trust me, she does not have an active proboscis like another, like another, uh, pretty much every other family of Lepidoptera. 
and, and they don't feed as adults. So that means all of the energy that she has to use as an adult is stored in her body, in her abdomen. That's why their abdomens are so large. And, and guys, guess what? They only live a couple days and they only, they only live a couple days. Look how big that body is right there. She's full of eggs. Okay. Um, she is full of eggs. And here's what a Saturnid female does. When she emerges from her cocoon, she'll sit on her cocoon and emit uh, their sex pheromone. And she won't move until the male comes and they copulate and she gets the spermatophore. And those are big fancy words for doing what just about every creature is designed to do. Uh, but she won't budge because she doesn't want to fly around and use her energy flying uh, before she mates because then she has to use all of her remaining energy to give her fertilized eggs, put them onto the proper host plant. Now, uh, she's flying around, so I'm guessing there's a very, very high possibility that she's already mated and she's already got uh, fertilized eggs, which will be cool. So perhaps we can even... Uh, get some eggs and try and document the life cycle of the Io moth. That would be cool. Um, let's see, any other cool facts about the Io moth? Well, they're polyphagous as larvae, which means they'll eat a wide variety of different species of palms and grasses. They'll eat uh, red mangrove. They'll eat hibiscus trees. And people, people, people that raise palm trees in Florida are really upset with these guys because they eat all their palm trees. Um, but they'll eat a very wide variety of different types of plants and um, it makes it really easy to raise. Huh. All right. How do you get eggs from a female moth? We are going to try this out right now, guys. This is a female Io moth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if she'll let me. Oh, come here. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, great. Now, I'm gonna get her in an envelope because look at that body. The abdomen is full, full, full of eggs. So when we put her in an envelope, hopefully she'll lay some eggs for us. Uh, so I'm gonna walk over to my truck, which is around the corner, and get her squared away. See if we can get some baby Io moths. So guys, that's all we got for the Io moth. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see if you can get her to show off just a little bit more there she goes <laughs> give me a thumbs up for that don't forget to subscribe and until next time let's get out there and enjoy south florida bye now